Happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath, happy Sabbath. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Once more, it's an opportunity. It's a privilege to be in the presence of the Lord. A privilege to thank Him, thank Him, thank Him that He had brought us through another work week. And today is the Sabbath day. We want to say, what a privilege to be able to just spend a few moments in God's presence reflecting upon his words now this morning our passage from meditation comes from psalms chapter 40 verse 1 and in the net or new english translation it says i relied completely on the lord and he turned toward me and heard my cry for help let us have a word of prayer thank you dear father that we can come on this beautiful Sabbath morning to be in your presence once again and meditate upon your word. Bless us now, even as we spend these moments with you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the King James Version of the same passage, Psalm 41 says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. You see, often God's answer is far beyond the expectation of his praying child. He said, call upon me, and this is God's message to you, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not and that's according to jeremiah jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. you see we are seeing that david waited patiently he will answer you if you too wait patiently for him in the spirit of persevering prayer and uh, that particular statement is taken from Alone with God, page 78. What we need to understand here is that we sing, wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord, according to the Advent messengers. But we must understand what it is to wait on the Lord, because that helps to develop our patience. In just the same way as God waits upon us to make changes and make adjustments in our life, He's asking us to wait on Him as we make our prayers or as we make our supplication. He knows what is best. He knows how soon to answer. He knows when is the best time to provide you with what you need. So today, I'm encouraging you to continually wait on the Lord because he's going to come true at the time which is most appropriate. Thank you, dear Father, that you asked us to wait. Yes, it will help to develop our patience. And the end result would be, always be what is best for us because you know what is best. We thank you for being so merciful. We thank you for being so long-suffering. We thank you for being patient with us. And likewise, we ask that you would give us the strength to wait on you at all time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.